Hello everyone, it's Queen V Line back to you with another video. This video surrounds the murder of Tarika Glenn Hightower, mother of six, a daughter, a sibling. Her murder was due at the hands of her husband, Navy Senior Chief recruiter Greg Hightower on September 22nd which was last month Tariqa Glenn Hightower was filing a complaint with the Naval Criminal Investigative Service Agents NCIS at their home while she was making her complaint on allegations of domestic violence, Greg Hightower busted into their home and shot and killed Tarika Glenn Hightower while she was holding their child. Not only did he murder his wife, and the mother of his children, but he also injured an NCIS agent. Now you will watch this brief news clip and I will be back with more commentary. In this case, you never know what was going on behind closed doors. NCI NCIS investigators were at the house you see behind me looking into domestic violence issues between a Navy recruiter and his wife. That's when things went terribly wrong yesterday. From one angle of a neighbor's security system to another, the barrage of bullets fired during an altercation Thursday along Tulik Run in Atascacita is frightening. It was crazy. This neighbor, who didn't want to be identified, heard the shots, then saw an injured NCIS agent in her driveway where crews returned today to clean up blood. He was bleeding. Sheriff's investigators say an NCIS team was here looking into domestic violence issues between an active duty recruiter and his wife when the recruiter showed up, first shooting and killing her as she held their youngest child who amazingly was uninjured. The drama then moved outside where you can see in surveillance the recruiter shooting the agent who was struck while others also fired their weapons. The husband then gets into a black car and leaves the scene. He was later shot and killed by a precinct four deputy constable who caught up with him in the Willowbrook area. This is a big surprise for me. Neighbor Andrew Olegban is among those shocked and saddened, especially for the children left with no mom or dad. I was like, nah, nah, he wouldn't do that with uh, put all his career on jeopardy and stuff like that. that. That don't make no sense. In a statement, NCIS confirmed details of the encounter, adding, quote, our thoughts and prayers go out to the victim's family and loved ones. We also pray for a speedy recovery for our wounded special agent. And at last check, that agent was in stable condition. Friends and others identify the recruiter as Gregory Hightower, although the ME's office has yet to confirm his identity. A lot of people here still trying to process what happened. This is a tragedy on so many levels. Prior to the murder of Tarika Glenn Hightower, over the summer of 2022, she accused Greg of hitting her. Greg also accused Tarika of hitting him. So no charges were filed against either party, according to ABC 13. Two days prior to her murder, Tarika again called police, informing them that she needs a restraining order. I understand that persons get married, are in relationships, and things don't work out. It happens. It's called the life. And now once again, we have a set of six children who have to grow up knowing that their mother is no longer here. 
due to the hands of their father because he could not control his anger. And I don't want to hear in the comments, she must have done something to provoke him. She must have done something to this good man. We need to start taking responsibility for our own actions. And we need to understand that domestic violence can happen to anyone, regardless of race, gender, or financial backgrounds. Just because her husband was a recruiter did not give him the right to harm his wife and the mother of his children as a thank you for extending his legacy six times over. Tarika's life was ended because she wanted the relationship to be over. We are in a state of an emergency as our loved ones are losing their lives due to domestic violence. And the more we remain silent as community members, we will continue to getting the same results of seeing our mothers, our sisters, our cousins, our friends, our community members dying in silence. The words of Malcolm X ring true today as it did when he was alive. You will watch this brief clip and I will be back with more commentary. The most disrespected person in America is the black woman. The most unprotected one, a person in America is the black woman. The most neglected person in America is the black woman. I will leave several links in the comments and description below for hotlines and organizations regarding domestic violence. This can happen to anyone according to the National Coalition Against Domestic Violence, an estimated 10 million persons will be physically abused by their partner. I will also leave a link to the GoFundMe of Tarika Glenn Hightower in the comments and description below. I want persons to understand that this can happen to anyone at any time and do not be afraid to speak out because silence is no longer an option please be safe out here and i will see you in the next video